Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Josh from Trail Built, and today we are doing another featured rig spotlight with Jill's 2019 Jeep Wrangler JLU. So if you guys haven't already, check out our website. If you're looking for wheels, tires, suspension, and accessories, it's trailbuiltoffroad.com. Ready? Let's go. All right guys, so starting off with the wheels and tires, we have the infamous Milestar Patagonia MTs. This is in a 35 inch by 1250 on a 17 inch Hilo. These are the HE, the 901s, and these are gonna be a 17 by nine and they're a negative 12 offset. So negative 12 means that the tires and wheels are pushed out about 12 millimeters, which does give it just enough clearance that it doesn't hit any of the suspension components, any steering components or anything like that. So no rubbing, no trimming on a two and a half inch metal cloak suspension. So pretty cool to fit 35s underneath a Jeep Wrangler with just a two and a half inch lift. So moving on, uh, speaking of the lift, with the metal cloak two and a half inch lift, it does have the adjustable track bar too. Um, typically with the suspension systems, with the suspension kits, typically you'll wanna have some sort of adjustable track bar too, otherwise your axle can be um, either pushed to one side or the other. The adjustable track arm keeps that axle centered underneath the Jeep. So another nice cool little feature on here is Jill's boyfriend, Chris, that had fabricated this at his workplace. So that's a nice, nice neat little touch on there, Maverick. Um, mudding one, cool license plate. And just recently installed is gonna be this Fab Fours stubby bumper on here, which is shortly about to receive a Rough Country 9,500 pound winch. So that's pretty cool as well. Plus you can get them at trollbuiltoffroad.com. So then moving on to the side of Jill's Jeep, we have, oh, we have metal rock sliders. So these are actually from a Jeep Rubicon to fit on Jill's Jeep. So that's pretty cool because at first glance, I actually thought it was just a plastic piece of trim. So nice tucked in there, nice sleek design look for those rock sliders. Then again, the 35 inch Patagonias on the back, which these Patagonias, we have heard nothing but great things about them for the price that they're sold for and the performance you get out of them, it's just something you can't beat. So pretty cool. Um, again, spare tire carrier for the 35 inch Patagonia on the back as well. Has the Rotopack spare gas can carrier behind the spare tire here. And then also the spare tire and wheel are held on by this Axe swing out spare tire carrier. So pretty nice feature here as well. And then the Rotopack spare water carrier can on the back as well. So as you guys can see, has a super nice clean setup. I know it's just in the beginning of the works from what is done so far, and they have a lot of future plans to do with this one. So next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the forklift test. We're gonna lift up the tire and see how much flex we can get out of it. So definitely stay tuned. All right guys, so with Jill's 2019 JLU with a two and a half inch metal cloak suspension, uh, longer travel shocks, and the sway bar in the rear is still connected. However, uh, she does have quick disconnects up front for the sway bar, so they are disconnected. And now we're gonna see how well it flexes. All right, so if you can see in here, Jacob, we are at just 29 and a quarter inches, so just over 29 inches, which that's pretty impressive. All right, guys, well, that has been another featured rig spotlight, this time on Jill's 2019 Jeep Wrangler JLU. So if you guys haven't already added your rigs to our gallery, you can check it out. It's trailbuiltoffroad.com. And as always, guys, we appreciate all of you for watching. I'm Josh from Trailbuilt, and we'll see you guys out on the trails.